Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your favourite YouTuber is finally back and today we're going to talk about Aimlab. Now uh, I'm going to show you how to get the optimal settings and set everything up. Okay, so first of all you're going to want to go to settings. Uh, now let's start off with the controls. You're going to want to set the game uh, to Fortnite or whatever game you play. That will automatically set up most uh, things in the settings. Then you're going to want to make sure that this is in-game units and add your sensitivity that you have in Fortnite. You're going to want to leave the field of view on 80 and then you're going to want to put your ADS sensitivity. And then you're going to leave this. Y axis sensitivity ratio, just all these. Just leave them alone uh, unless you are on control uh, and everything over here, just leave them as well. Now we're going to go to game and you're going to want to go down over here. You want to switch the default camera mode to third person and then you can do these however you like. Weapon visibility, I've got it on hidden so you don't actually see your gun. Weapon recoil off and weapon sway off. You can also change and customize how you want your targets to look. I've changed their colors. And I also find this pretty good, changing your character to holographic instead of normal. Audio, you can just leave it the same, but I just turn off the music and you can also just lower the hit volume maybe, that would be pretty good. Uh, or change the sound as well if you find it annoying. Now, uh, graphics, you should put this on full screen exclusive, this is going to give you the most FPS. Then set whatever hertz you are on. I'm on a 144 at 1080p, so I've just got it there. You don't want any stretched res unless you have it on Fortnite. Then you also have three different uh, options. Low latency, balance and performance. If you want to get the best FPS, select performance. And if you want the lowest latency, select low latency. Anywhere in between, if, you prefer, if your PC can handle it, I would put balance to low latency, uh, but if your PC can't handle too much, go to performance. You want to put frame rate limiter on and cap it at whatever you use on Fortnite. Uh, I use 144, so I just set it to 144. Graphics quality, uh, I recommend putting it on fastest, but uh, if you want your game to look nicer, then you know you can select one of these. I've put these all off uh, so it makes the game simpler so I run better FPS but it's also easier for me to detect uh, targets so it doesn't have any breaking targets that block my vision or anything like that. And now that you've done this don't forget to click save changes and it will tell you that it's saved. And now you can just go to training and you can go and play some tasks. Uh, I recommend using always 9mm, but you can also find other guns, soon there will be like Fortnite guns as well I think. Uh, I'm, I quite like using grey box because it's the simplest one, easiest to detect where the targets are. Now I'm going to show you how the game looks and how it works. As you can see, you can see through my avatar so you can't block anything in front of you and you also can't see the gun. Remember if you want to go to first person, which I do not recommend if you're practicing for Fortnite, uh, just click V. If you're in first person and you want to go to third person, just click V again. You get the point. Uh, uh, if you want me to make a training video and do my research on what are the best things to practice on and show you my practice routine, tell me in the comments below. Uh, but that's all you have to know. I can also do a video if you guys like explaining everything about ranks, scores, training data and everything uh, and how this game can tell you what to work on or even how to make your own custom maps and everything. Tell me what you want to see in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out. I'll reply to all the comments and I'll do my best to make every single video that is requested. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.